So today we're taking a look at and reviewing the Marked Riderback Bicycles by Butterfly Playing Cards. So let's get into it. Alright, so before you even open the box, there are a few uh, sort of gems for magicians. Uh, one of them being that it's the classic rider back box. Uh, this is how all bicycle boxes used to look like before they switched to the, the standard ones. Um, you have the back design on the back, and the classic design on the front It says rider back right there. And at least for us older folk magicians, we really appreciate that, so uh, that's, that's a nice touch. Another good thing about this box that I really appreciated is the pull tab on this. Now, a lot of times when you get a new bicycle deck, uh, you have to sit there and dig at it with your fingernail like this to get it the perfect spot to open it. But on this one, uh, man, it was amazing. The pull tab was just sitting right there, uh, kind of loose, and I just had to grab onto it. It was just like that perfect, satisfying wrap around. It was just like butter. And uh, I wish I would have saved that moment for you on camera, but unfortunately, this is the only deck I have. Last but not least is the blue seal. And like I mentioned before, if you're an older magician who used to have these bicycle boxes, they all used to be blue seal. And so seeing that blue seal just brings back memories and it's just a, it's just a joy to have. So what do you get in the box? Well, obviously you get the marked cards, uh, but you also get the, there's a card with a QR code on it that uh, teaches you how to read the markings. All right, secondly, you'll get a double backed card, which is good for a number of magic tricks. And then also you'll get two jokers, which are identical, which is good for a lot of sandwich uh, tricks and things of that nature. A lot of times you'll see on the bicycle decks, there'll be two different jokers. So I love it when there's identical jokers like this. This deck is printed with the United States Playing Card Company, so you know you'll get a top-notch quality uh, deck of cards. So, in addition to this deck being fully marked for a suit and value, it also features a very subtle one-way back design. And if you don't know what a one-way back design is, it's basically uh, one mark on one side of the card that's different on the other side. So that means if you have all the cards pointing in the same direction and one card is turned around 180 degrees and put it back into the deck, then you'll know where it is uh, from the backs. So let's talk about uh, the markings now. It is a coded marking system as opposed to a reader system. What that means, there's a certain binary code that tells you what the card is. On some decks, it's just written in English, the three of spades, with the three and the letter S, right? So on this one, it's not that at all. Uh, it's just a binary system. In fact, if you have the Pina deck, it's exactly like, it's the same marking as this deck. So if you have this deck and you know how to read it, it's the same for this deck. Now, the same sort of binary system is the exact same on a butterfly deck. Now, um, if you've never had a butterfly deck before, and if you don't know anything about a binary system, don't worry about it. Um, the only thing you need to do is first of all look at that QR code to teach you how to do it. And second, um, my brain doesn't operate at a high capacity most of the time. And so what I really had to do is sit there and sort of memorize what each of the codings looked like and do it that way. Uh, for instance, uh, the nine, uh, the spaces in between the two little markings is very far apart. So in my head, I, I just think to myself, okay, nine miles apart, they're widely separated. So sort of mnemonics like that uh, will help you in memorizing uh, these markings. But a couple hours of practice and you'll get it in no time. But what I really like about these markings is that uh, you can read them from across the table I and mean, they, they really pop out at you, all right? So uh, I will just do a test. I won't look. I'll just grab a random card out of the deck and uh, pull it forward. You can see it's an entire arm's length all the way across the table. And just with, with a quick glance, I can immediately tell that that's the Queen of Diamonds. All right, we'll take a look and it is the Queen of Diamonds. So that's really advantageous for a bunch of different things. And if you have poor eyesight, it uh, that's not even a problem. Um, you can do it with your glasses off. It, it really is very easy to see. All right, so if you go to the butterfly store, uh, you'll see that these are actually sold out. Um, but April 2nd, they're gonna go back up on Kickstarter. So I highly, highly suggest that you back this project and get yourself, um, get a brick, get two bricks, because this, 
Uh, bicycle deck is phenomenal. Uh, 10 out of 10.